up y'all my name is Patrick Ryan and this is another CrossForge Gaming Talking Head. Valve has completely wiped Insole Games from its store and let me tell you why. This company is not very big. They've made games like Guardians of Ember and a new game that just came out Wild Buster. Wild Buster wasn't selling really well so employees of the developer were told that they had to go buy the game on Steam and give it a review and then give it a good review. Now the reason we know this is because someone on Reddit posted an email from the CEO of the company saying, hey, game sales aren't real good, so you need to go and buy the game and review it and give it a positive review. I don't blame a CEO for encouraging his employees to go do this. This kind of thing happens all the time. Maybe not with the reviews, but on social media, we like our own post. We give our, our videos on YouTube thumbs up. We share them. We, we give positive interaction whenever we're out there. I, I will say giving a positive review on a review site is a little shady, especially if you're not disclosing who you are. So, for example, if I give a thumbs up to one of my videos here on YouTube, well, you can actually go in there and see that I'm the one who did it. And you obviously know that I work for the company. So... I'm not really hiding anything. I'm not doing anything shady, or at the very least, I'm not doing anything that other people don't do. I guess you could make an argument that it's unethical because I'm skewing the numbers or something like that. But it's not, it's real different from if I then went and made another user name on YouTube and got on and started giving my videos a good review. That's. That's real crappy. It's like when, when a company does that on, on Amazon. This is something that has happened on Amazon. In fact, it's kind of a problem where a company will pay people to go get on Amazon and give their product a five-star review and and review it and say all kinds of, of awesome things about it. And to make matters worse about this, so the CEO of Insel didn't just tell his employees, hey, you need to go do this. He actually told the employees that there would be negative consequences if they didn't. And it's not just reviewing the game, which that right there is shady if you're not like, disclosing, hey, I helped develop this game or I work for the company that develops the game and I'm, I'm going to give it a positive review. But I mean, they have to go buy the game to be able to do this. And so these, these employees are spending their own money to go buy this game to make it look like it's, it's selling better. So, so they're not even – you're not even getting a free copy of it? I mean, come on. This has skewed the reviews for – Wild Buster, and because of that, and because of the the post that the was found on Reddit of the email, Valve was like, "Nope, don't want to have nothing to do with you." Pulled all of their games, not just Wild Buster, but all of their games. This developer does not exist on Steam at all. Now, I'm not entirely sure what that means for people who paid for the game, and maybe they want to go re-download it. I, I would assume that Valve will let you still go do that because this has happened on other platforms where a licensed game, but this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for Xbox Live Arcade was pulled from the Microsoft Store, but if you owned the game, you could still get on the store and download it. So the game's still on the server, it's just not being sold in the store anywhere, and I would imagine that this is something that Valve is doing because by not allowing anybody to do that, that you're hurting your customers. You're not hurting the company by not letting people who paid for the game download it now i suppose it would be possible for valve to go you know what we're just going to refund everybody all this money and and then that way we don't have to worry about it and and i don't have any information about that so if you're a fan of this company's games and and you have bought some you know i don't know you're gonna have to go check steam or wherever you bought it from and, and make sure that you still have access to it as far as all of this goes i say good for valve that is looking out for the consumer and a lot of times valve gets kind of crapped on for not looking at the consumer because their customer service is quite honestly really bad i mean if you have a problem with something on steam it's not the easiest thing in the world to deal with in fact i i would say a lot of other companies that get a lot of crap for being bad at customer service do better than valve does this actually shows that they hey they actually do care they care about the customer they they they, they do care they're just really bad at customer service in other ways. If you were looking for one of these games on Steam and you can't find it, well, that's why. Valve has parted ways with them, and for really good reason, because that's not cool. I, I, the the telling, telling your employees that they need to go review the game 
would be pretty crappy. It, that's not something that I think should ever be happening. But telling them that you're going to discipline them, that you're going to punish them, that they're going to be negative consequences if they don't do it, that's real crappy. And I hope that the CEO answers for this somehow. I, I, I'm not... I'm not the kind of person who's like he should lose his job. I'm not. I don't like jumping to that conclusion right away. I think you know maybe just telling him that hey, that's not cool. Don't do it again, and and keeping an eye on him and making sure he doesn't do it again is maybe cut his pay, maybe suspend him or something, maybe demote him to another thing. Because because I understand what it's like to do stupid things, and and you don't want to lose your entire livelihood because you had a moment of weakness and you made a bad decision now, i will say this sounds like more than a moment of weakness and a lot more like this is just the way this guy is because i mean i've had moments of weakness but not anything that would make me send an email out like, like this so I, I i shouldn't judge him i don't know all i know is is while i don't hope that he gets fired i do hope that he does suffer some consequences for this because his irresponsibility has gotten all of their games pulled and, and I guarantee you that the people who are going to suffer the most for that are the people that work for this guy, not him. He's probably doing fine. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of Crossforge Gaming Talking Heads. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. Click that subscribe button and the bell icon. Go to Patreon. Consider being a patron for as little as a dollar a month. Visit us on Facebook, on Twitter, and on Twitch. I love you guys. My name is Patrick Ryan, and I will see you on the next video.